Oh yeah. This is my this is my um my my video portal. What does that consist of? Well, when you when you own and manage and run a print shop, you can do all this stuff, right? Yeah. It's so weird how I call you up. It is like you are the daggone business. It's like yeah. <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere to do a lot of stuff, brother. No. Hey, Roundup, what's going on, everybody? Greetings, class. Happy MLK Day to you today. I hope everybody's doing well. How's the weather up there in the District of Columbia? It, so, actually, I talked to my folks that are down in the Shenandoah Valley, and they were having snow a little while ago. But, they have an altitude, though. Yeah, they are. Then um, in the D.C. area, it was, you know, it was chilly this morning. It's not, it's not freezing. It's in the lower 40s. That ain't bad. No, it was, it's been sunny all day. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, thanks for taking the time. Go ahead. Down there. It's chilly today. Very chilly today, bro. So yeah. I'm like, we're in the upper mid 40s. So a lot more colder than I thought it would be. Yeah. But I'm thankful, though, my friend. I'm thankful. Yeah, man. No so around it, we're going to talk today about Chris uh, has got qualified actually for these business credit lines i want to show we're going to share with you ex his step-by-step -step exactly what he did to qualify for this stuff uh chris uh, birch is a full-time entrepreneur actually a friend of mine and a mentor too he does business has been in business how long you been an entrepreneur chris forever yeah at the last so i'm, I'm 44 now um the last job i had was uh, working at a summer camp when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. So you've been entrepreneur forever, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, Chris was hooked up with some of my, well, another company that we're going to talk to you about. And if you don't want to hear us blab, you can always just go to the video and the link, uh, the the link in the video description, and go ahead and see how much you qualify for it too. But Chris is going to walk us step by step how he went through this process. And the good thing about this stuff is you do not need to even have an LLC set up yet. This company will help you. Round up. I'm Chris Haskins. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. And doing that, I just want to bring, bring to you the most up-to-date information that I can find. Beating the streets, shaking the trees. People, I get a million people contacting me to come on and share different products. But I have to vet them all. So that's what we're doing today. I've already vetted this company and you're going to talk to Chris Birch, and he's going to share with you how he was able to get over $100,000 in business credit lines to do whatever the hell he wants to do. Chris Birch, what's up, homie? Not much, man. Not much. Another another day in sunshine. How are you hanging in there with your with your printing and the uh, shutdown and the pandemic and all that good stuff? You know, I was talking to an associate earlier today, and now typically every four years, this week for us in the print world, as busy as can be because we have an inauguration for our next president. Yeah, that's right. We are doing this much printing right now. Are people showing up for the inauguration? Nobody's even being allowed to come. There are very few select guests that had invitations <coughs> along with the House and the Senate members that are going to show or uh -huh. will be there. Um, you know, and then we had all this turmoil last week with People, you know, rioting at the Capitol. So now this town is in, in complete lockdown. You can't get, I drove actually not far from the Capitol. You can't get within about four blocks of the U.S. Capitol. You got guards and AK or assault you got, rifles. You got metal fences. You got guards with AKs every five or six feet going down the sidewalk. Sad. Uh, yeah. I heard this morning. So the inauguration is in two days on Wednesday. There's going to be 25,000. National Guard on the street, just around the Capitol. How much is that shit costing? Who knows, man? Unbelievable. Knows. Anyway, yeah, we don't want to get too political, but no, 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 no. But <laughs> my, point, my point being, what you're asking about is um, how business is in general. So normally, this week we'd be printing up, you know, party information. Um, they'd have all the different presidential balls. They would have. Uh, all of the nightclubs, people coming in town, you know, from Atlanta, from New York, you know, all over the place. It, it would, 
typically it, it's a celebration. And this year we're basically going to be sitting in the house. Maybe if we're politically inclined to watch it, we watch it on TV or on the internet. And mm -hmm. that's about it. You know? So you're that's crazy, man. what would we normally be doing? We would normally be pretty darn busy right now doing last minute stuff, but not this year. Well, I'm glad that I had an opportunity to share this uh, time with you and with my Roundup homies. Listen, Roundup, Chris is going to just go over what happened, how he was able to do this. And if you're interested in getting qualified to see how much you qualify for, that link is in the video description. Chris, give us the backstory of your business and why you even, why does this business credit lines even raise your spidey senses, so to speak? Uh, I learned long, long time ago is if you can get it when you don't need it, that is the best time. Meaning as if I don't I don't need cash, but I'll take a line of credit mm -hmm. because I can use that line of credit and not have to use cash. Okay. And that's from, from a businessman standpoint. Um, you know, these lines, and we'll go into details uh, if you want, but, you know, you can use these lines for a short-term Let's say it's a project. Let's say for, for my print business or for my real estate business. If I just needed to make a supply order today and I knew in two weeks, in three weeks, in two months that I could pay that back, I'd rather use that line of credit. Um, not to jump too far ahead, but most of these lines start out at 0% interest for up to 12 months. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. So it's basically... Cash is basically cash available to you to use at your own discretion to invest in your own business. It doesn't have to be a brick and mortar business. These funds are available for pretty much whatever you want to use. You just need to be careful with how you use them. So who is this not for, Chris? This is not for someone that has not, has proven not to be able to manage their own money. The and I don't even want to say startup is is a bad thing. I think I think this is a great use for startup as long as you know what you're doing. Yeah, right. It's not for uh, indiscretionary funds like shopping, uh, going out and buying something that stands no chance of recouping any sort of gain. You know, because these loans or lines, um, they do have a timestamp on them. They are going to start incurring interest at some point. Yeah. You are going to owe the full principal that you borrowed plus whatever interest it incurs until you make it whole again. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we need to use these for investment purposes or business purposes only. Yeah. I mean, I used one of them. I'll give you a perfect example to purchase a piece of equipment for my business. Right. Most people would say, oh, that's kind of crazy because you're going to pay interest on top of it. But if I can take the funds that I'm recouping from that piece of equipment and pay that loan, that line of credit down as fast as possible, then I, I basically got free financing. Sweet. Yeah. I, you know, I think it takes a mature a level of maturity in, in your business to understand what the, what the definition of really free is. You know, when we think about loans and getting yeah. pre-approved for stuff, someone's going to let you borrow so much money when you look at it it's like money you didn't have yesterday you got it today you know it, it's just kind of a right. maturation thing yeah yeah <clears throat> i would definitely agree with that um again it's not for going out and creating more debt mm -hmm. right um it, it it affords you the luxury to stay cash positive and use use these lines at a rate for a you know, 12 to 18 month period, not paying interest when it does incur interest. Um, you can still use it. I mean, some of the lines on, on the, the program I was set up with are an upwards of $50,000. And that's just one. That's one line of credit. Well, even at the high interest rate, you know, once it starts incurring interest, if you can use those funds to strategize, even if you have to make an interest payment for a couple months, get it back. What, what can 50 grand do in the world of real estate? 50 grand yeah. can turn into 75, 80 real quick. Yeah. I, promise yeah. you, I promise you that the interest rate that you're going to pay on that line 
it's nowhere near that 25 or 30 grand that you could make with that 50. I mean, even if you were to make five or 10,000, I'm just like, it's, it's just peanuts for what you're spending. And when I think about hard money, Chris, I mean, just every time you use the money, you got to pay points. Every time you borrow the money, you got to pay interest up front. Every yeah. time you do the money, you got closing costs. And they're not giving you 100% of the money anyways. That's crazy. Right. They're giving you, what, 70 80% loan to value? If that. Like that. Yeah. If yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever used the hard money? I know you've been fortunate enough to kind of have uh, been a business person for so long. So. You know what? I almost did. And when I sat, when I, I almost did. I was so close. I sat down at the table. They broke the whole deal down. Um, and when I, when I saw the monthly payment that was going to be due on their money, then I saw points on the back end of what it sells for. And then that money, that money disappears quick. Most hard money that I've talked to, nine to 12 months is the most that they'll do it for. Yeah. So yeah. you got to know what you're doing, you know? So round up as we're continue talking to Chris, I'm going to go ahead and if you don't want to listen to us blab, you can just go to the link in the video description, find out how much you qualify for. Yes, it's one of my associates, one of my affiliates. We make a few dollars on this. I'm putting the disclaimer out there, but that's what we're in business to do, right? So it, it, it was, it has been able to help Chris. As a matter of fact, we did a deal together. So I, I have seen this in action. I promise you this stuff works. I'm not here to sell you the type of wood nickel. I've seen Chris go down there and do this. And we're going to continue to sell uh, to talk to you about how we did it. So if you want to go ahead and get qualified, just go to the link in the video description and head on over to the site. Put your information in. All it is is name and email address. So, Chris, tell me about the process dealing with funding grows. Uh, you know, my people's over there, Mike. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I was obviously <clears throat> affiliated with funding growth through your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I clicked on the link in, in the video. It took me to the basic uh, registration page, entered some criteria. The following day, I received a email correspondence and then a follow-up phone call from the associate at Funding Road that had been assigned to my application. Mm -hmm. They did a <clears throat> credit check that day. Uh, actually, on the I think on the phone. I think he ran it while we were talking. Um, at the time, there were three minor, minor derogatory um flags on my credit he wasn't concerned about it he actually said that they have a program as well as a organization within their company that helps remove derogatory things now these these things have been on my credit i don't probably 15 years so mm -hmm. they can easily get those off because they haven't been re-reported they just sat there idle um it had no bearing on the loan itself or the lines itself. Mm -hmm. uh, they just said, we can get you more money in the second round and third round if we strategically get these certain issues removed from your credit. Sweet. Yeah. So I will point, and I'm sure the, the, the question will come up. Um, it's not, it does not show on your credit, but it Personal. is, right? It does not show as... Any of these lines are not going to show up on your personal credit. They base the rate and the amount, the dollar amount, is based on your credit score, but it does not go on your personal credit. Gotcha. Based on your credit score, but not on your personal credit. Your credit worthiness. Do you pay your bills on time? That's what they're they're. That's the initial um, concern that most people might have is oh. I have decent credit or I don't have enough credit. Well, Fund and Grow actually works with people to improve their credit. Let's say you only qualify for 10, 20,000, right? Maybe 5,000. <clears> I'd recommend at that point, possibly taking that line of credit, doing some things to improve your personal credit. You know, and Fund and Grow has programs that'll help you with that. Don't they have like a company that will walk you down? I mean, I've never seen a company that will help you improve your credit and pay off some other stuff to help you get qualified and help remove any derogatories that That's are crazy, on you. Man. That's yep. crazy. Yep. So round up, I forgot to mention, you will get a discount. I have negotiated. I forgot to tell you guys, since we do so much business with these guys, they have given me a discount. It's a $500 discount on their services. So you have to use our link. You have to come through our portal 
in order for you to access that discount. So that link is in the video description. So Chris, after you turned in all your financial stuff, no, before we get there, mm -hmm. I forgot. I remember you said something about being bank your bankability and just the general speaking in the entrepreneurial world. Yeah. We don't even go to banks because of we write off so much stuff. Talk about that with you. So <clears throat> the bankability part for me is I have tried for years and years in business to qualify for a traditional bank loan or a traditional bank line of credit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but they are, they are going there. I mean, I've been in business since 2005, right? Tell it like it is. Yeah. And at first people would say they weren't qualifying me for a loan or line of credit because I wasn't asking for enough money. But I was only I was asking for what was manageable for me in business. What what did I think was a, something that was manageable? And <clears throat> yeah, part of it was I, it wasn't enough money for a traditional bank to loan. But at the same time, the criteria is so high. You know, yeah, they're going to still check your personal credit. They're going to check and see if there's any dings on your credit. Any, any lender is going to check that. Um, but then they'll come back with this whole heap of reasons as to why it doesn't work. It was whether maybe it was an equipment loan that you requested and they don't think the equipment is valued at whatever your your purchase price is. So they're not willing to do it. It's just, it's more red tape is what it comes down to. Yeah. My thing is I remember trying to apply for loans. It was like, dude, you're just wasting your time after and over and over again, writing off everything. It's almost like a catch 22 for us entrepreneurs. Would you say? With the write-offs yeah. and yeah, yeah, complete waste. So, rounder, this stuff is going to be on your business credit. And Chris, what if somebody doesn't have it? I know you have an established LLC. Do you know what? How do they look at people that don't have an LLC? Um, they Funding Grow doesn't care. They can actually help you set one up if you if you so choose. They, I mean, they're they're structured. Um, I don't know if they actually set it up or they recommend because the your your LLC would be in whatever state you're creating that business in. I don't know if they offer that, but they do have resources in their portal to get that uh, LLC set up as well. Gotcha. Gotcha. But it's not needed. It's not a requirement. So let's say you're going to the, through the process. How does it work? Do they open up? Well, just explain to me. They say you got to prove. I mean, you got to no doubt. You got a, a large amount of financing. How do you get access to that those business credit lines? Is it like with Home Depot or Lowe's or? So, it it is normal traditional lines of credit: American Express, Fulton Bank, Bank, uh, of, Bank of America, Chase. Yeah. Right. So, if I went to Chase directly, I wouldn't know what to put in all the little columns to qualify for the line of credit that I got approved with through Fund and Grow. But Fund and Grow already has relationships with these institutions and they can pitch someone like myself and my business that has pretty decent credit, you know, it has a, a, a good length of credit as well. And they knew which lenders to pitch my request for lines of credit to based on what they saw in my application. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. Why wouldn't you just go do this on your own? I'm thinking I can just call up the banks and ask for a business credit line. No doubt. I've, I've tried that since 2005. <laughs> it doesn't work. No, nope, doesn't work. It's crazy when I talk to Mike and the relationships that they have. Well, you know more than me. Tell me about that, Chris. I mean, it's almost like they got people on speed dial or I, I don't know. They They will respond within hours or within the same day to whatever request that I might have. So like for them to say, well, Chris, um, you know, we're looking at your criteria and we're going to put applications in with Bank of America, Chase and American Express. And um, what was the other one? Fulton Bank. So I said, well, I mean, I guess go ahead. So within <laughs> two days, I got the first approval, which was American Express. They, they approved it for, 25,000 and they then fund and grow then informed me they were going to put in for a uh, balance increase the next day 
American Express upped the twenty five thousand to fifty thousand. And they, they wow. I don't know how they did it. They just did it. So that is crazy, Chris. The next day. The next day. Um God, yeah, and I, I know I've said this before. I was trying to pull up the go ahead. The breakdown of Brown, get your questions in while Chris is talking about how you would qualify for these uh, large business line, uh, business credit, business lines of credit. Get your questions in for Chris because he's already going through the process. Okay, I was wrong. American Express approved me for eighteen thousand on the first request. Okay, and then increased it the next day to fifty thousand. That's crazy, man. Yep, that's crazy. Yep, and this. This was not even a year ago. This was January 28th last year. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Unreal. But um, I was trying to get the balances of approval. Got it. So American Express is 50. Chase Bank is 18. Bank of America is 12. And Fulton Bank is 20. So it's almost like they're layering these credit lines together to give you one big one yeah exactly you can use them exactly exactly yep yeah and you can use them in different in different scenarios you could use the american express for a specific project that's you know chris haskins real estate deal whatever it is and i could say well you know chris do you need how much do you need to rehab the house well i need 50. okay great boom i can now fund chris's deal we work out whatever agreement, but then I still have the other lines and another 18, another 12. And, you know, you can use them. It's it's not like you're restricted, I guess is the best way to say it, because you can use these different lines for any purpose. Yeah, I'm thinking with that, uh, I would just use it for construction costs, because if I, if I say if I bought the house, what, however I financed it, Correct. you can literally take those cards to a Home Depot or to any supply house. Yep, exactly. Swipe it right at the counter and. Start your project. Done with it. Yeah. Done with it. Exactly. That's, that's cool. Roundup. I'm just giving you the information how I see it. I've seen Chris go through this process. The man got over 100 grand. If you're out there looking for financing, at least give it a shot. See what you may qualify for with Mike. Mike Banks, my homies over there, fund and grow. They've been doing this for I don't know how many years. Yes, you could do it on your own. You could do your doing like Chris is saying, but I'm like the relationships they have just it's just yeah. unreal. Exactly. Exactly. Chris, what would you say to somebody that's a little nervous about turning in their information or running credit? You know, a lot of us are kind of squeamish when it comes to this credit thing. I mean, this is an accredited company. There are nobody there. I mean, <clears throat> what did they just buy like a two hundred thousand square f square f office building that they're now putting more you know, work center, yeah. more people in. This yeah, is no, this is no fly by night type of organization by far. They they are. I don't want to say that they're accredited, but how they've treated me that that I would consider them accredited if you value my opinion of how they operate. Yeah, even how they operate with me and how we do business together is uh, it's world class. Yep. I gotta say, world class. They've been around. Round up. Get your questions in if you got anything for Chris. The man is walking the walk, talking to talk. Not only talks it, but uh, you know we hang out together in in Baltimore. You remember Chris from our Baltimore video? Matter of fact, he was the one that brought that lead in. And you have another house up there in Baltimore, don't you, Chris? Yep, we're actually just getting started on the renovation. So I'm gonna be posting videos and whatnot on YouTube as we go through that process, working on a row home in the city of Baltimore. I can't wait to see that. Candy, yeah. I would like to use this for my first hold or flip. Good for you. Good for you. You can. You can. Ray Taz. <clears throat> do you have to have an LLC to get business uh, credit lines, Chris? You do not have to have the LLC set up. No. So from my understanding, Ray Taz 50. Uh, Mike has people at Fund and Grow. They have people that will actually set up your LLC for you. Yep. I've seen yep. it, man. What banks are preferable for small business? I don't know that Chris might know. Mm, preferable for small business? None of them have helped me, to be honest with you. You yeah, know? Me. me neither. No, I've spent more time 
submitting paperwork and going down the conveyor line of qualifications and you're waiting and you're waiting and yeah, it's a, it's a waste. That's terrible, man. Denise wants to know with funding growers, the fee to get funding 3000. And if I have an LLC, will they still look at my personal credit? Okay. So there is a fee, but with Chris's link, it's, I don't remember the dollar amount, but it's a drastic difference than what you would normally pay. Yep. Um, and they will pull your personal credit because that's how they determine your credit worthiness. It's not going to show up on your personal credit score. So it'll never show up that American Express or who are all these lines that you get approved for. Those will never show up on your personal credit. So there is a fee, Denise. Uh, I can't even remember what it is, but I promise you, if you could go, you could go to right to their website. You're gonna, you're gonna pay more. They gave, they're giving us a five hundred dollar discount. Yeah. And you can just find out how much you qualify for in the uh, video description. The link to head over to Fund and Grow is in the video description, my roundupers. Mm -hmm. uh, David wants to know how much did you pay, and can the credit card wire internationally? That I don't know. But I do know from my travel experience years ago, you can use most credit cards internationally as yeah. long as you call in for pre-approval. Because if I just show up one day in Russia and start swiping my American Express card and I've never used it in Russia, they'll probably flag the account and put it on hold. Mm -hmm. So I would, if you're going to use it that way, call call the, the institution that your card is with. Let them know I'm going to be traveling abroad. If you see any, you know, sh charges, that's most likely me. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Or maybe he's doing business uh, internationally, Chris. Maybe. That's cool. Yeah. Do you remember what your credit score was, Chris? It's uh, Mine's above 700. I'll give you that. Okay. Um, Fund and Grow does not require a, a credit score to get funding approved. They would like to see it above 720. If it is, that's not saying if it's lower, they won't get approval. They've just, from their experience in the years of them doing these lines of credit applications, they say the sweet spot is 720 and above to get maximum funding to these lines. Gotcha. Gotcha. David, that's a good question. What were the terms on that, Chris? I don't, I don't, uh, is there 12 month terms on it? Each line is different. Uh, Bank of America was the shortest term. I think Bank of America was either eight or 12 months, no interest. Uh, American oh, Express was 12 months. Chase was 18 months. And Fulton, I believe, was 12 months as well. Sweet. You said no interest. Zero interest on all cards. But the time frame that they allow zero interest is different from, from each lender. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Denise, uh, can you tell me your interest rate? Oh, we just talked about that. Wow. Yeah, zero percent anywhere from six to eighteen months. It just depends on which, which lender you're approved with. Gotcha. And do you have to pay fund and grow a fee for the amount that they're funding? So they have two programs. And if you go back on Chris's channel, he did a sit down with Mike um, Mike Banks at Fund and Grow. Mm -hmm. He breaks it down a lot better than I ever could but they have two different ways to apply for these. One, you can pay up front. The other one is you don't pay, but they then take a percentage of whatever you're approved for. I don't know what percentage that is, but they have two different programs. So if you don't, if you don't wanna spend the money today to apply, they you, one, they actually have, you can make three installment payments as well. You don't have to pay the full amount. Gotcha. I think it's like uh, Denise. Who was that? Denise. I think it's like thirty five hundred dollars, and mm -hmm. if you use my discount, it's like twenty nine fifty or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the fee? We just talked about that. Um, hey, Mark. Uh, do you manage the lines through Fund and Grow? No. These are these are my lines of credit that I manage as a business owner. Um, they do have. An affiliate of the of funding grow that will you have to pay for it, but will basically do the line items for you. If you don't, you know, they have a firm and probably a CPA firm they work with that would do that. But, you know, I already have those folks in place for my stuff. You're already paying for that. 
Yeah, I'd literally scan a statement and send it to my bookkeeper. Got it. Uh, we talked about that the other day. Why would you do bookkeeping, y'all? Me and Chris were laughing. We used to book it. <laughs> Man. I did too, brother. Don't say, I, say I pay. I talk to business friends and they say I pay too much for it. I love the fact that I just don't have to do it. One less thing on the plate. Oh, my goodness. Saturday morning or Sunday morning, drinking coffee, sitting at QuickBooks online and doing line item data entry. That's the worst. Dude, I would rather, oh, I'd rather go paint a house or something. Yeah. That's rough. I, that just goes to business owners, entrepreneurs, brother. Do what you're good at. Well, it took, so Chris, you can, you would agree with this, I know. It took all of us time to realize how much that little couple hundred dollars a month, how much time you're losing by trying to save a couple hundred dollars. And it's painful because you're like, I can do it. I can do it. And I wanted to, at first I wanted to see it. So I understood how it all worked. Mm -hmm. But then weeks would go by and paperwork is just stacking up and stacking up. And because I'm not doing it, I don't want to do it. It dreaded. it. Yep. Dreading. I'm like, man, this does not make money. Yeah. Chris, what are you doing? Do yep. shit that makes money. So I think we've all been there, Chris. I remember my accountant used to call me a shoebox boy. Another shoebox boy coming in. All of receipts coming in. Yeah. Round up. Find out how much you qualify for it. Uh, that link for my discount for funding grow is in the video description. Uh, Chris Birch, ladies and gentlemen, good friend of mine, entrepreneur. Get the questions answered by the man that's doing it. Yeah, man. Entrepreneur, real estate investor. Thank you. I wish I would have got that house you did, man. I, I Anyway, <laughs> I killed that video. Remember I came by the house and you were like doing some final stuff with that staging company? Right. I deleted that video, man. I don't know why I did that. Mm. Yeah. I was going to come back and then you sold it in a day. Yep. I couldn't even get back to the house. We listed it on a Friday at an open house on Sunday and had three offers Monday, ratified a contract on Tuesday. Yeah, that's just stupid. And and if you recall, it was an all cash, no contingency offer. That's right. Wild. Yeah, about that. Yep. Yeah, about that. Yep. Karen wants to know, have you went through the second round yet, Chris? I did. I did. <clears throat> so second round was two weeks prior to COVID hitting the United States of America. So we spent about two months of going back and forth with associates at these different lending institutions that were for, for what, a couple months working from home. Um, so we just got correspondence this past November that there will be balance increases, but it's going to be based on some of the COVID relief funds that were being uh, put out there. So we haven't solidified the second round yet, only because a global pandemic got stuck in the middle of our communication lines. Mm -hmm. All of that is cleared up now. It just, it took time. And, you know, Fund and Grow communicated the whole time with me and said, you know, we feel good about it. You know, it, it, it looks good, but people weren't moving normally. People were sitting at home trying to navigate. Yeah. Yes, the second round is coming. Um, I got correspondence right before Christmas that I should have answers in January. So in this month, we should have the, the new lines extended. Sweet. And I'd be happy to come on, Chris, and you know, let everyone know, you know, how much they were able to to up those lines. I mean, we're we're living in unprecedented times. So I'm not gonna be surprised if it's a little less than I expected. But right now you you can't hundred thousand. I mean, yeah. you got a hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred. I mean, if you can't yeah. do the first hundred, good grief. You need to. Yeah. You need to think about. Unless you're in LA, New York. Generally speaking, my roundup homies aren't there anyway. So if you can't try to figure something out with a hundred thousand, man, you might want to rethink what business you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sora, Sora. I just jumped in. Hey, what are the most recommended banks for your startup real estate business? Is it advised to open up? multiple business accounts? I don't, well, unless you wanted to have <clears throat> one account for the purchase and sale and one account to manage your project, you know, um, like Chris knows, some hard money guys, they don't give you all the money up front. Now, nope. you do, but using that example of having different accounts, 
you might want that account to manage your a second account to manage that project. Um, but I don't do it. I run it, you know, I run it out of one, usually out of one account, but, yeah. but each entity is different. You know? yeah. That's true. So for me, who is that? Sora, Sora. Good question. We've got flip bank account, long-term hold bank account. So, you know, as you mature and what's the word? Hampton University matriculate. Thank mm -hmm. you. Hampton University. You don't want to have your accountant cranking up hours, right? So if you can say over here is all for X and then yep. over here, you know, is no X stuff. This is all Y. You give them less stuff to do. So it's really, yep. uh, it's up to you. Like Chris said, I think it was, that was a good point. It's how you run your, it's what type of business you have and how you're going to run it. Cause some people just wholesaling. I mean, you don't, it's just got expenses and you're just flipping paper. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, for me in in my my nine to five type of business, I have one account for the merchant, which is where credit cards deposit to. Yeah, and a different account that's my operating account, and I only do that because you learn in business, customer declines a charge, they pull that money back out. Well, Make sure can. I don't leave but so much money in that merchant account for that reason. They can pull it right back, and you got to pay the fee on that, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yep. I'm losing money on that swipe. You know, it's weird. I remember the first time I had to pay that on a $2,000 refund, Chris. Yeah. It opens your eyes up to being a business owner, right? Real quick. Yeah. You pay for the charge when they bought it. Mm -hmm. And you have to pay for the return when they do that. And the client walked out with the product. That's why oh, you get the physical product. Yeah. Oh, man. You got a three, you got a triple whammy. Exactly. Yeah, if, it's, if it's a digital, if it's a digital product, that's a little different. But yep. man, I think I've got hacked. Man, who was this guy, Alexander? I'm gonna have to block you. You're getting you. Somebody hacked you. Yeah. This is help me access my. I got ten of these. He's got here. Huh. Let me put him in timeout. I'm sorry, Alexander. I gotta put you in timeout, bro. Lex, after a year of credit utilizations with different credit lines. Do you have to have your credit pulled for a credit increase? As of right now, no. Nope. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you won't. So uh, I'll say that cautiously because, as I just mentioned, we're in the process of the second round. And nothing has come up about them having to pull credit again. But they, they might. I don't know. Got you. So you know. Hey, there you go. Big brother in life, thirty nine ninety seven. If you go to my link, it's thirty four ninety seven. So yeah, you'll get a five hundred dollar discount. Thank you for helping us with that. I can't even remember what this. And that's a great deal because I recall it was like forty nine about a year ago. Oh yeah, it was almost five thousand. Yeah, so that's that's huge. That's fifteen hundred dollar difference with your with your code. You know what's crazy, Chris? I think about all the money that I spent on hard money lenders. Mm -hmm. All the money I spent just on interest going out, right? And it's just like if you got this flat fee every year just to access the money, right? You can kind of put that in your mental Rolodex and say, okay, this is the cost of the money for this time. I mean, if you, yeah, hard money, you're, you're, let's round number. You borrow a hundred grand at twelve percent. What's your monthly payment? Thousand bucks. Right, thousand bucks. So three months of hard money, you can get the same hundred grand now at zero interest for six to eighteen months. But don't forget the points, though, Chris, on hard money. And yeah, so now you sell the house for two hundred, and they're charging you five points on the back end. So yeah, you just you you just gave them fifteen grand. It's a no brainer, bro. Yep, it's a no brainer. That's why I'm bringing this to y'all. I've already vetted these guys. My boy Chris has already been through them. <clears throat> so why not at least give it a shout? The link to sign up with Fund and Grow. You don't even sign it up. You're just calling. You're just uh, finding out to see how much you qualify for. It's not like you're committing to anything they'll give you a call they'll say hey we need to get this well i'm back chris do you put your information do they call you up then they ask you for what they need correct pretty much yeah they asked um it was very it was so i mean the the, the limited amount of paperwork they actually needed it was basically an application and they ran the credit they asked for no documents like they didn't ask for profit and loss of the business or balance sheets or anything that a traditional bank is asking for. Mm -hmm. um, mainly because I think this is not considered a traditional loan. This is a line of credit in the yeah. name of the business. Yeah. Yep. 
round up. That's cool, man. Uh, yeah. Derek wants to know what are the lengths and interest rates of these credit? We got 140, 130 people on, Chris. Just want to see how this works. What are the lengths and interest rates for these credit lines? Uh, the the length is whenever you want to close it. So there's no limit. There's not. It's no, There's no expiration date. The expir expiration date is going to be the expiration date on the card that they give you. Hmm. Right. Um, the interest rates. It's it's as I said. It's it's dependent on each lender. American Express, from my experience in business, normally has pretty high interest rates after you get out of the zero percent. But that doesn't mean that I couldn't still use that card in a short time frame or in a project that well exceeded the interest that I'm going to pay on that line of credit. I got to tell you, I've seen American Express really change over the past few years when they lost that uh, Costco account, Chris. OK. Remember, okay. well, you were you were, you were a merchant. You know that you, you know the deal. It was like they're all so bougie. They 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 wouldn't even be. I couldn't swipe American Express for like the first five years in business. There you go. They wouldn't even let me swipe their card. And then I had to qualify and do all this paperwork to get accredited with them, just and to be able to receive payments. Just to, be able to swipe someone else's card as a customer. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, just to receive. They're a pain in the butt. I remember they are, and then I'm gonna tell you what I noticed when they lost that. I don't know if they lost it or it ran out with Costco. Okay, they were trying to give business, you know, opening it up. So it's a lot easier to run. Let me ask you: Is it a lot easier to run Amex nowadays? Um, it is the criteria. Me it is. Is still, the, yeah, the criteria is still kind of. I mean, they're just a pain to work with. I don't know why. Like you said, they're like this bougie organization. Like, oh, we don't need we don't need everybody. They're hurting now. Their stock is down too, I think. Yeah. Jorge, what kind of credit score do you need to apply? Thank you for coming in, Jorge. Yeah. Um, so there's no requirement. I would say if you're not above a 650, probably, I wouldn't waste a lot of time, but don't take that from me. Set up a consultation with Fund and Grow, call someone, they'd be happy to share that with you. I don't know, but they recommend they've they found the sweet spot for them to qualify a business at the at the highest criteria they found that 720 fico and up is is really where they're getting max maximum funding uh for their Sweet. client can you take some of that money out of the credit line say don't they have a payment program right yep and you can if you pay whatever i don't know what it is down can you take some of that out of the credit lines and once you're approved so repeat it again can you take some of the payment to fund and grow mm -hmm out of the credit lines that you're approved for yeah they have a program they have a program that you can apply and put zero dollars down today when you're approved let's say you're approved for twenty thousand ten thousand or whatever fund and grow will take a percentage of those approved funds as their profit and then you have the balance gotcha gotcha you do not have to spend a dollar today with them i hmm. didn't choose to do that because for me and I can't say everyone is fortunate as I am. I didn't want to give them a piece of the pie. Imagine if they had like 5% of the hundred that I was approved for. Or what did they get? I don't know what their percentage is. There's a whole lot more than that three grand. <laughs> right? You look at things differently when you get older, brother. Yeah. You look at things differently. And it's so crazy. You know, I'd rather pay today. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I said I was that fifteen hundred dollar difference that I just made reference to. Put that in my pocket. I'm keeping that fifteen. Yeah, even though it is spread out over time, it's still money. Yeah. It's still money. That's how they get us. They yeah. spread it out. Yeah. Just lenders in general. Uh, Lex wants to know the do. Should I get a Dunn's number, Chris? It's not needed. I, I mean, years ago when I started in business, other business. Associates of mine said you have to get a Dunn's number. I remember those days? I, I don't really. I, I don't. Not not to say I don't understand what Dunn's. It's basically it's a business. It's a business credit score. Mm -hmm. um, very few people even use it that much anymore. And here's the reason I've learned is that let's say a banking institution wants to report to Dunn's your credit worthiness, they have to pay to report your information. Duns charges the institutions. 
So let's say I have uh, an equipment loan, right? Equipment loan. I'm current on payments, but I'm building no credit to, for the business because that company, whatever, whatever company it is, has to pay Duns to report how good I am as a customer. Why would they do that? Yeah, they got to pay. Yeah. So I'm not saying don't get a Duns. I would honestly, I would consult with whoever you're applying for a loan with on what their requirements are. Would, I did they not one mention with Fund and Grow about a Duns number. Gotcha. I think maybe that's where she was going. He or she, Alex. No matter. I don't have a Duns. I applied for one. I mean, back in 2007, I just well. Uh, Roundup. This is Chris Birch, real estate investor in Washington, D.C. We're talking about how Chris was able to qualify for $105,000 in business credit lines. If there's something that you think could benefit your business, head on over there to see how much you qualify. That link is in the video description and you will, I repeat, you will get my discount. The Roundup discount is $500, $500 off of their services. Uh, we've negotiated that for you. First thing I ask, they call, what's the discount? What are you going to give my people the discount? First yeah. thing, Lonnie Scrubs like, what's my discount? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Harold. Hey, Harold. Oh, did, did Derek, did we answer that one, Chris? Five year? Your loan? This is not a loan. This is a, this is a, imagine, okay. You can show them, Chris. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a credit card. It's a credit card that American Express, I have $50,000 to spend on. On Bank of America, I have $12,000 to spend on. It's not a loan. I could close these at any given time as long as I don't owe them anything. There's a zero balance. I could just get rid of them. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Harold. Hey, Harold. Nice picture. So they don't go by your personal credit, but why do they request for your credit score? Well, no yeah. So they're not it's not it it's not on your credit report it's based on your credit worthiness to pay your bills in the past mm -hmm. so if you have done well by making on time payments making regular payments no late payments likely your credit score is quite good so they're just basing these lines on the value that hey this guy has proven he knows how to pay his bills yep and that's you should, be, it. you should be paying your bills on time anyway, mm -hmm. really, in my opinion. I mm -hmm. mean, I mean, and I'm not saying be late because you pay pay more when you're late anyway. Yeah. Wilfred, hey, 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 they can set up an LLC for you, but if you don't have a business currently, they'll set up they'll set up your first credit line under an S corp. Oh, it sounds like Wilfred might have went through the system, Chris. Okay. Yeah. Good for you, bro. They provide that service. I didn't have to do it, so I'm just not privy to how they set them set them up but i do know they offer that service that's right you already had your uh that yeah. was set up yeah wolfred have applied and it has been great oh okay wow that's cool yeah man great good for you wilfred good for you my friend maybe bring you on to hear yeah. your uh -huh. on. might have to bring them on yeah wilfred hey man email me chris at chrishaskins.com wilfred i'd love to know your experience with them mike calls me all the time man how uh how much we do business with them. Right, Chris with a C. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's your? I'll put it in the in the chat, Chris. What's your email? It's cbinvestmd at gmail dot com. C cbinvestmd at gmail dot com. The roundup. If you look in the chat, I just put Chris's email in there. Yep. Can it? Can they get to you by? Uh, Chris Birch .net, I mean dot biz too. Yep, dot biz. There's a there's a portal right on the uh, the bottom. If you scroll down, you can enter your name, phone number, email. It'll come straight. <coughs> um, I get extremely busy, so I'm not ignoring you. I don't respond immediately, but I do respond. Um, you know, it might take a day. You know. Gotcha. Uh, Wilfred, da, 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 da. Timothy, do I need to use my personal credit? That is the requirement of the application. Yeah, they have to pull your personal credit to check your credit worthiness. Has nothing to do with necessarily the amount, but you know, it it, it is a factor that they use on the application. So yes, you do, do need to submit personal. 
So it sounds like they pull your credit, but it's not going to be reporting on your credit or your personal credit. Exactly. And no, actually, they help you remove that inquiry when they do pull your credit. They help you get that off of off of your it's credit. Crazy. Well, crazy. Yep. It's crazy. Uh, Carrie, and hey, so after the 12th month, do you still work with Fund and Grow, Chris? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. They, um, I just actually just got an email. It was right after, right after New Year's for them um, allowing the, uh, or informing, informing me of how that line, um, that second round will end up going. But yeah, so I don't know, Chris dropped off. I think it looked like he over, something came up that said he overheated. So I'm a, I'm, I'm just too I'm hot for camera, Chris. I'm just too hot, man. I'm too hot. I saw the little I, bars pop up and then it said too hot. I'm like, oh man. You know what? As I'm trying to up my production game, you know, I'm teaching YouTube now. People how to start their channels. Like um, myself. Huh? Like myself. You have. It, anyway, Chris has 10x his channel. 10x. We had a meeting today. So Chris is in my YouTube and Internet Marketing Mastermind. We talked about 10x in his channel. So <coughs> <coughs> Chris, has YouTube been a benefit for your business? Oh, without a doubt. I'm getting. So I'm not only getting questions from around the world, not the country, around the world about equipment that we use, about benefits of doing things a certain way. People even commenting saying, hey, I have a video doing something similar. Check out how I'm doing it. So I'm learning from it while I'm also sharing information on how my business operates. You know, yeah. uh, just, just posted something earlier. I, I walked through, I did a like a half hour video looking at a deal that is now not going to be a deal, but a deal and how I can navigate a real estate transaction and whether it makes sense for me to drive my butt 30 minutes to look at the place. I did a video on how I pick apart a deal before I waste my time going there. Good, good, yep. good. Yep. Uh, Rhonda, thanks for the info. Um, do they look at all three credit bureaus also? Can they take the fee out of your approval amount? Mm -hmm. Yes. So first part of your question, I'm sure they do because when when a, when a agency, any lender pulls your credit, they will pull all three and they will base your credit worthiness on the middle number. Mm -hmm. So if one said you're a 700, one said you're an 800, and one said you're a 760, they're going to go with the 760. That's, yeah. Even though you have an 800 on one, they're going to take the middle number. Uh, second part of your question, yes, you can apply with zero dollars today. Once you are approved, they will take a percentage of the funds that you're approved for. I don't know what that is, but it, their website is very clean, easy to read. There, there's no hidden hidden fees. It says it right on that application page of what they can, what they will, the percentage they will take. Yep, they can take that right off of that. Gr grinding for greatness. Chris, I guess me, do you use Fund & Grow or do I use hard money? Uh, actually, neither. Uh, I, we have raised my clients. We we have over 3 million. Is it 3 million? I think it's like 2.5 mil with Fund & Grow through my clients right now. But uh, we have so much private money grinding for greatness. I'm glad you asked that. See, here's the thing. You got levels in this game, right? And uh, you can't judge somebody's beginning with somebody else's middle. I've learned that. You can't. Look at somebody's middle compared to your beginning. Now, I'm not saying your beginning at all, but hard money. I have used hard money, but we have so much private money, uh, in including uh, gent gentlemen like Chris, where we don't necessarily um, have to use uh, any type of bank finance. Scott, how long? Nice beard, my brother. How long did it take? How long did you have to build history on your? business credit in order to get approved for this much i didn't it wasn't based on my business credit they don't they don't even know what my ein number is to even look up the worthiness of my business they got my llc name they looked it up to make sure it was in good standing with the state in which my business runs and it was based on my personal credit worthiness it was based on my fico score good Good question. Yeah. 
Uh, Riss. R. Hey, Riss. Did I say that right? Rice. Yeah. With Fund and Grow, did you use an existing business or did you create a funding entity for funding only, Chris? I used my existing business uh, only because I knew the credit worthiness of the business was there. The length of time in business was there. But it doesn't matter because it's based, as I continue to say, it's based on your personal FICO score. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had one of, one of your uh, viewers just now say I worked with them. They actually helped me set it up. Yep. Yep. I don't know how they do that. David, when you do another round, do you have to pay another fee? I do not think so. I'm not 100% certain, but I do not think so. Denise, thank you, Chris and Chris, for educating us on this process being transparent. Yep. Great way to get started 21. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for saying that. Thank you so much. Uh, Wilfred, with uh, with the feed, the discount is about thirty four ninety seven. That's right. We'll get a discount with us. Uh, Riss, Rice, I don't know. With Fund and Grow, did you create a funding entity? Oh, we went over that one. You already had that. Uh, this seeing this is the most messed up clickbait I have ever seen. Hmm. Is that another hacker? Hmm. Alexis Gates. So they do a personal credit check. Yes, that's all they do. They will once they pull your credit, they will then respond. Usually within a day, as from my experience, it was about a, a day later. I received an email introduction from the, my point of contact, who was going to be the associate assigned to my account. Mm -hmm. And um, we pulled credit like o over the phone. Sweet. Looks like we've got a, someone that is a naysayer. No one gives you money with uh, proper credit. Chris, you are just lying to people. <laughs> I, should, I should log into my Fund and Grow account and show everyone the balance if you don't. I mean, good grief. Why would I? Why would I waste my time? You have I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Stock market trading. Now, I love you. I love this when people do this. I've seen Chris's the cards. He's got the cards. No, so here's the fun part. If you, if, if you don't want to do this, it doesn't benefit me or not, whether you do or you don't. I'm sharing my experience of what I was approved for. Oh, I'm not selling funny. anything. Fund this is credit. past. This is like a, this is you're you've you already got the money. This is not like something that you're applying for. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Stop market. Why are you messing with me? You know what? I needed a good Martin Luther King shock there. Yeah. I've seen Chris. Matter of fact, we use some of them. Yeah. Alexis, are they? <laughs> Are they providing bank credit cards for the for the business? Yes, it comes in the form of a card. No, right. yeah. Ron, uh, thanks for this great info. Do they look at all three credit? Oh, we did that one already. Maybe we can bring a uh, start market on, and he can tell us how much liars we are. Yeah, right. That'd be funny. Mm. I bet he won't come on. I promise you. Not sure, Stephen. Not sure if this is already covered. How many years does your business need to be open? It doesn't need to be a business. You don't even have to have the structure set up when you apply. The lines of credit are based on your personal credit score. Yep. So we've got 135 people on here, Chris. We're hanging out with my boy, Chris Birch from the Washington, D.C. area, entrepreneur and real estate investor, already approved and got the money. Funded. <laughs> cards already approved y'all so it's not like he's going through this process matter of fact he came in on a deal with us with that money so round up if you're looking to see how much you can approve for for 2021 use my discount the link is in the video description i negotiated a discount with mike banks over there funded grow for you this is cool no requirement no requirement of a hundred thousand loan are you drunk i'm gonna I'm stop let me put him in time no i'm gonna leave him up what should i do chris leave him open or time him out it's entertainment value for you and I. Maybe even for your roundup crew, it might be entertainment. I mean, why would we waste our time sitting here talking about something that has already been approved and used? <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave it with Alexis. Okay, so 720. How much? How do you find out what your FICO score is? They pull it, don't they? They're going to pull it, yeah. 
Justin, how would I go about liquidating the cards to get the money? I have a 770 FICO, good for you, but I don't have any of my cards reported to the business side. What cards would you recommend? Oh, he needs to get some cards. Um, Apply through Fund and Grow. Yeah, they get the cards for you. Yeah. I, I didn't know who they were going to go with. They came back to me with Bank of America, um, Fulton Bank, uh, Chase, and American Express. They came back with the original, this is what you've been approved for. And as we said earlier, then they went and asked for balance increases. So it's not like you said, I got this bank already. I did this. I did that. They set it all up for you. When they see your FICO, your credit, they know which lender to go to. Yeah, they're already processing it. Yeah. I'm telling you all, these people have relationships with the underwriters. I've seen it done in a day. It would take you and me three months because mm -hmm. once you get denied, you got to get the letter in the mail. Then you got to get on hold, calling them up for hey, on hold for two, three hours. Who are you get on? Who are you going to get on the other line when you call into these big banks? Right. I mean, shit, I can't stand calling Bank of America just to order a new debit card. I know. I know. Alexis, and how old does your personal credit have to be? My credit card accounts have only been open for eight months. Well, it's not just your credit card accounts. It's everything that you've done within your personal social security number, whether you bought a house, you bought a car, um, you went to Macy's and got a Macy's card. Your credit score is based on your worthiness to pay your bills on time. Gotcha. So it's not other credit cards per se. It's how your credit worthiness has gone throughout time. That's Chris Birch, y'all. CD yep. invest MD at gmail.com. Yep, hit me up. Uh, Dana, my Dana, hey Dana, my husband James and I got off the phone with Fun and Grow. We'll be starting with them tomorrow. Thanks for oh wow, good for you. Yeah. Okay, give yeah. me a call. that's cool. Go get your money. Grind for greatness. Agree. Just want to make sure you practice what you preach. I do not. Oh, yo, yeah, man. I uh. I'd use them, I guess, indirectly. People borrow the money and then come in, I guess, where well, Chris comes in with the deals with us. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah, even though you didn't use hard money slash fund and grow directly, you your projects did because of investors like myself and others. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Good point, brother. Good point. Round uh, coffee, no LLC, but have a business name registered. Would that work? Once again, does not matter. You could actually be a business. Uh, you don't have to be a business to qualify for the approval. Yep, they set it up for you. I don't know how they do it, but I've seen them do it. Yep. Hey, Healy, what's up, brother? Well, the program will be someone you can talk to that will walk you through and ask them questions, Chris. They are so responsive. I usually do it by email because I don't have a lot of time to go back and forth on the phone with somebody. I'm busy doing other stuff where it doesn't afford me the time to sit there and talk with someone on the phone. I've done it a couple times when they had some, you know, critical information that they didn't want to share via email. But um, yeah, they're so receptive. <clears throat> As we saw, someone else who was just here with us live already called them and getting hooked up with them tomorrow. So yeah, they're great. They're on it. I'm telling you, they're on it. They got a huge office. This yeah. is not some company where you got two, three people there typing in a computer. Yeah, they got a building with floors that they have people servicing this stuff. So, uh. Data, what is the average interest rate? I have no idea because the lines of credit that you will be approved for might be different lenders than I was approved for. It's true. The, the rates are going to be with whichever lenders you're dealing with. I don't know. But yours was 0%. Tell them what yours was, Chris. On the four lines that I was approved for, for the total of 105, I had 0% between six and 18 months. Zero percent, Dana. Yep. Uh, J Equity. I'm thinking of signing up this year. Is it as easy as they say with using plastic, plastic to wire the money to closing, Chris? I didn't wire it. It came to me in the mail in the form of a card. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, Brooklyn. So you, uh, Ray Tess. So will you gain credit history from the usage of the cards? Business, yes. Personal, no. Dana wants to know, does does this show up on your personal, oh, since your personal credit is used, does it show up on your personal credit bureau? No. 
The only thing that will show up on your credit report is the inquiry that Fund and Grow will do when you initiate your application, but they can remove that as well. Yep. <coughs> yep. So if I'm late, let's say my American Express bill, uh, I, I make late payments, it will not affect my personal credit score. Gotcha. Yeah. I never, I said, well, let, let's break it down. I did not guarantee any of this debt, if that makes sense. Wow. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, which card merchant does Funding Grow use? I don't know if that. Merchant? I have no idea. You didn't know that. Risk. In comparison to hard money, Funding Grow is a no brainer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Scott, per my previous question, how did you get approval for that much? Did you ask for that number, Chris? I had no idea. I had no idea. So <clears throat> I put in the application and I paid the amount because I figured with my longevity in business and my decent credit score, I'll probably get at least like 10 grand, right? Mm -hmm. So even if I spent the 4,900 at that time, which is now with Chris's discounts, like 35, barely 3,500, you're still 6,500 ahead. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Round up. This has been a good one, man. That's some good questions in here. Yeah. He doesn't know, but you don't know about the Caribbean, Chris. You can't answer that. M Micaiah. Um, I guess if you are a U.S. citizen, I don't see why not. I don't know how Fund and Grow works internationally, but if you are in like the Virgin Islands, you'd be a citizen. So yeah, I don't see why not. Dana wants to know, Chris, if you want to brief, well, you can re, she can rewind it or you want to go over it again? No. The, so the fee is either you pay up front using Chris's discount code that's in the video description below. You can use his code to get an additional $500 off what they normally charge. Or you could apply today with zero money and then Fund and Grow will deduct their fee, the 39. So you got, I believe with, with this though, Chris, if you use the don't pay today, I'm not sure how the discount works. You might know this. I'm not sure. but I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm sure it's something. If you don't, I, that's just how business works. Right. You right. got to pay something to get it financed. Exactly. Or you could do the other option where you can do installment payments. You can do like a third, a third, and a third over the next three months. Yeah. And don't forget, once you do that third, you can still take the remainder out of the financing that you're going to get. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's apply here. Is this better than a HELOC? Let's see what a rabbit runner 22. Is this better than a home equity line of credit, in your opinion, Chris? In my opinion, I'm gonna say yes because a typical home equity line of credit is an adjustable rate. That is true. That's they're all adjustable. The answer is it's an you could try to refi out of it on the long term. But yeah, I guess every scenario is different. I'm not going to say yes or no. It just depends on depends. it depends on the use of the funds. What are you trying to do with the funds? Steven, what if I want them to report on my credit? Is that possible? I don't think so because they they only it's only based on your credit score and it, it doesn't they never post to your personal credit. So no. Keep in mind guys, this is a business line of credit too. You know? Uh, fund uh, healing. Will they make an LLC for you? Yeah, for my, I haven't done it, but in the application process, you don't have to already have a business structure. Yeah, with LLC or an S corp. Someone else mentioned they set up an S corp for them. Yeah, they they provide that service right there in house. There I go. Hey, my roundup family. What's up, my friend? J Equity. Uh, talking about we talked about that. Chris didn't use plastic. He didn't. He didn't know. Hmm. But they can't pull, yeah, there's a company they use. Uh, Chris, you didn't use them, so you can't speak from personal experience on that. I, I didn't use them, but I've seen some of Mike's videos where they can do a direct deposit to to, to something like plastic. So that's up to J Equity Group. That's up to you. Well, that, that's been a, this has been a cool one, Chris. So what are your final thoughts? We've got 120 people on here watching, Chris. People need to get their financing together. I remember. Coming up through the ranks, not having money to buy, it sucked. Mm -hmm. Sucked. So, if you're looking for financing, the link is in the video description. Get my discount; it's five hundred dollars off. Business credit lines. My boy Chris already went through the process. Final thoughts, brother Chris. 
if you have a good use for it, you have a plan for it, mm. have, have no hesitation that these people will take care of you. They, everything I've requested of them, they've been by far above par um, with how they operate as a business. If you don't want to do it or you question it, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. There's no, there's no sales pitch from either one of us. If you hey. want, do it. If you don't, don't. And yeah. you know, yeah. Options. I'm learning. I keep telling my daughter, the reason I'm so hard on you because I want you to have options. I want you to have options. If, if I were trying to deceive somebody, why would I put my face all over the internet? <laughs> that, that does. That makes no sense. You know. Unreal. Everything I try to do, I'm ethical about. I share what I know. I share my experiences. Mm -hmm. and it is what it is. Yeah, you're real with that. Anyway, we're going to have some trolls, man. It feels good to have a troll or two. Oh, one. No, no, I wasn't even speaking to that one, but just in general, for someone who's hesitant, I shared, oh, my, okay. I shared my email address. Chris has his website on everything that he does. You could find either one of us pretty easily by a simple okay. email, right? That is true. Yeah. Or blasting us on social media. I can't let you blast me so hard, right? I got to say something. Exactly. exactly. I, I had to say something, y'all. Yeah. All right. Enjoy your New Year's. Happy Martin Luther King Day to you all. If you need yeah. financing, that link is in this video description. Hit that like button. Share with any other investors that you know you know they need to get some financing. They're trying to get a house. They want to grow their business. They want to hire somebody. They need to do a marketing campaign. They want to buy some equipment. They need to, they, they need to have pay uh, for rent for a new location. All this stuff can be used for that. You know, it's not just buying a house construction for me. I'm like even dealing with Chris, um, paying for the renovation. So, so many different ways you can use this stuff. Yep. All right, Roundup. I'll see you guys soon. And make sure you, uh, I'm going to put another link below. I got the foreclosure training coming up in the next few weeks. So, y'all register for that if you want to. Or just give me an email address so I can keep in touch with you. See you soon, Roundup. Peace.